Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Revelations. Today I would like to continue with the main storyline. However, before I do that, um, I would like to go shopping. First of all, um, I would like to visit a tailor. We have uh, one nearby because uh, the game stole my parachutes. <laughs> As you can see, I don't have any parachutes anymore. I think they disappeared either after the um, Altair memory or after the Hagia Sophia mission. Um, the previous game basically did the same whenever I played one of the Christina memories that played in the past with a young Ezio who didn't have parachutes. Um, the game would remove the parachutes and then it wouldn't give them back after the end of the memory. <laughs> and apparently this game is doing the same. So I have a new line after one of these Don't Altair memories, off. my parachutes are all gone, which is quite a pity. Um, and then, hang on a second, while I'm here at the tailor, I would like to try something. Maybe it's time to try one of the dies. Of course, I'm not entirely sure if they even work on the Master Assassin Armor or if the Master Assassin Armor has like a fixed color scheme. Let's see, what would look good? Um, Royal Violet, Byzantium Red. I kind of like the Masia of White. Let's give it a try. Remember to visit me often. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think the dies work on on the Master Assassin armor. It does look the same, does it not? I don't know. Let's try a more um, vibrant color and see if. That makes a difference, for example, the violet. Come again. Yeah, no, it's not going to change. It looks exactly the same. I guess the Master Assassin armor just overrides all the dyes that you can buy. Okay, fair enough. Um, and then um, I would like to visit bookshop because, as you can see, I have a lot of money. So I would like to invest it into a few more books. There should be at least one that I haven't bought. Well, that's certainly ambitious. No, my Let's have a look. Oh, I think there's more books than last time I checked. But as you can see, I already bought quite a few. We have some. Greek classics here, Odyssey, Anade. We have Mu Alakat, which I believe is uh, a collection of Arabic pre-Islamic poetry. We have Ptolemy's Geography. We have the rather unhistorical history of the kings of Britain. <laughs> I mean, I guess it probably contains some historical truth especially about events that are a little bit closer to the time of writing. But the more ancient history in this book is just bonkers. I think it basically says that Britain was settled by the Trojans, so yeah. <laughs> and we have the Heimskringla, which is kind of the same as above, except this one is about the Norwegian kings. Again, it does contain some information of historical value, but especially the origin stories um, are a bit strange. I think according to this book, the Norwegian kings are descendants of the Aesir, which obviously traditionally are the gods of North mythology, but uh, the author, being Christian, obviously couldn't write that they were gods, so in his version, Odin and the others are just mortal man who came from Asia, because Asia kind of sounds like Asia, so it must be connected, right? <laughs> so interesting um, parallels between these two uh, stories. I guess it was just very common among 
European medieval writers to connect their own histories or the history of their own people to some ancient uh, classical legends and stories. So um, some interesting um, similarities here. The Book of Prophecies by Christopher Columbus. I'm not familiar with this one. I wasn't aware that he wrote a book like that. And then we have some Latin works here, the Golden Ass, Parallel Lives, and Metamorphosis by Ovid. I am painfully familiar with this one because I had five or six years of Latin at school and this is one of the works we read. So I guess I'm going to buy this now. Um, we got Opus Maius by Roger Bacon. I'm not familiar with this one. The Secret History of the Mongols by Unknown. Okay, I'll take it. And yes, we have two more. And I could actually buy both of them, but they are very expensive, so maybe I'll leave them for later. I still have a few landmarks um, to buy, uh, like the Hagia Sophia, for example. Although I did buy quite a few already, so I'm making some progress uh, in that area as well. However, now that I've spent a lot of money buying stuff, let's continue with our next mission, which is going to be a Sophia memory. And I'm guessing this is actually going to be about Sophia since we need to find another key before we get another Alter Ear memory, right? Sure oh, and yeah, as you probably have seen already, I changed the armor again, so I am wearing the Master Assassin armor and not the one that I got last episode. I don't know, it seems like the armor rating is the same and I prefer the look of this one, so yes. This is what we're going to uh, wear. Whoops, that was awkward. Okay, let's go and talk to Sofia. Salute! I am closing in on two more books. One near Topkapa and the other in the Bezid district. Bezid first. Topkapa will be a dead end. Mm. Ah, see. Si. What do you make of this? Oh, Ezio. Incredibile. Early Coptic bindings, still in good shape. Amazing. This must be a third century transcription of the original. Sophia, what happened here? Oh, that happens once or twice a year. People break in thinking they will find money. I do not keep much here, but... This time, they made off with a portrait of some value. It is a shame. You keep working. I will find your painting. Ezio, the thief could be anywhere by now. If the thief came for money, but took a painting, he should be close by, eager to get rid of it. Well, if you happen to find it within the next few hours, meet me by the aqueduct. I will be running errands. Okay. I guess we will find your book. I have a special skill set. I think I can find the person responsible. Portrait of a lady. Someone has broken into Sophia's shop and stolen a painting of considerable value. While she works, recover the painting. Full synchronization. Steal the painting without the merchant spotting you. Okay. Got it. Identify the painting's thief inside the bazaar. And yes, most of my assassins are currently on a mission. But I probably won't need them for this particular task anyway. Um, I know there are a few windows where you can enter the bazaar. But I guess we're just going to use like the door. <laughs> like 
Okay. Somewhere. Over here. We are supposed to look for the thief. Ah, one of them. I will not be able to make it. Where is it, Ladro? Confess! There we go. I have done nothing. You oh, beat up the thief. Okay, let's make sure I don't have a weapon I equipped. I do not need to. I will just keep hitting you until you talk. The I found that thief. Get right. your story straight before you lie to my face. God help me. He has much better things to do than answer your prayers. Probably. <laughs> oh, the guy is pretty tough though. He isn't breaking easily. Yes, the cloud <laughs> There we go. I do not care how you got the painting. Just tell me where it is. I sold it to a merchant in the bazaar. How else will I feed myself? Next time, find a nicer way to be a canalia. <laughs> yeah, you could find some honest work. Find the merchant who bought not the painting. Back. Okay, Please. so... Now. Now we have to look for the guy who bought it. Are you going to beat him up as well? I mean, he may not have known that it was stolen. Um, okay, that's him and I'm supposed to steal the painting without him noticing. So maybe I should approach him from the other side if I can. Okay. All right. I think I can just steal it. Oh, I have um. A painting for them, well, if you are curious, a luminous portrait. Yeah, that didn't didn't work because he turned around in just the wrong moment. I thought I could just steal it from him while he was looking in the other way, but I do have the painting, so I guess uh, that is what counts and. I will have to do without that 50% synchronization. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get back to Sophia and return the painting. There she is, waiting. It is a good likeness, don't you think? <laughs> I prefer the original. <laughs> This was a gift from my father for my 28th birthday. I had to sit for Messer Albrecht Durer for a full week. Can you imagine me sitting still for seven days doing nothing? I cannot. Una tortura. <laughs> so I found you another book location, and it is not far from here actually. Grazie. Ezio, what is this all about? You are not a scholar, that much is clear. Do you work for the church? <laughs> not the church, no. But I am a teacher, of a kind. I will explain one day, Sophia, when I can. Yes, you teach people to kill. That's going to be an interesting conversation. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that 100%. But uh, let's have a look at the map to see what our next task is going to be. Um, ah, over here, I guess that's the book I'm supposed to get for her. I guess we will uh, check this out next because I don't really have anything else to do. And we want to impress Sophia, right? You still have to produce some offspring. Because Desmond, right? I mean, technically, he could have produced offspring already. They don't have to be legitimate, right? As long as he passes on his assassin DNA so that a few centuries later the animus can read the stored information in the DNA, <laughs> that's okay. But you do need some kind of offspring. And my theory is that 
Sophia will give him those offspring. Whatever your book is, I can most of the Okay, apparently um, I need to check on top of this column. I think this is a landmark I already bought. I should check it out before I leave. Oh, look at this random animus fragment hanging in an awkward position. I guess I'll take it. And yes, I remember how this works. Okay, let's look around. <laughs> Again, I'm pretty sure that the books are not buried inside a wall, but somewhere on the ground. Well, that works. Okay. Let's recover the book. And yeah, it seems that I've bought this landmark already. So let's try to find this book right away. Um, I can make this jump, right? Okay, so what did I find? The Flute Girl by Menanda. Alright. Forum of the Ox Unlocked. Oh, I see. So, I guess that's where I will find the next key. And once I found the next key, I will get the next Altair memory. Got it. Um, so... Where would I have to go? It's actually right over here. And yeah, I don't have anything else to do, so we're going to continue with this. It seems like I finished a large portion of the, you know, side missions already. So we can focus mostly on uh, the main story now, which is pretty good. And here we go. This must be it. What did you find? Another key? Door of some kind, bricked up with hard stone. Ah, promising. The first key was found behind a similar door. Timulus. And how did they open that door? They did it. The earthquake did. Iperoja. <laughs> All we have are a few barrels of gunpowder. This should do. And if it does not, we get more. Well, thanks for telling me it's gunpowder. <laughs> the assassin! Go! Go! Uh, again, Ezio is disconcertingly unstealthy in cutscenes. The Forum of the Ox, a clue left behind by the Polos, has brought Ezio to the Forum of the Ox. Unfortunately, the Templars are searching here too. Full synchronization, do not take any damage. That's new. Chase the temple. You will not okay. leave here alive! Warning, falling into the rapids will cause syn desynchronization. Okay. 
Also, I'm not really going after them. I'm going in a different direction, but I'm just following the white claw. Yourself. Ah, here we He's go. Dead. Now we are on the right path. Ville. Well, stop shooting at me. I'm not supposed to take any damage. Oh, right. I need to make this kind of jump. Uh, careful. No, no. Don't, don't fall. <laughs> Don't right. No, no. He is here oh, somewhere. Um, well, didn't time this jump properly. There we go. But I think I'm still doing fine. Assassin! Oh, I have different options now. Um, oh, I have to go over here. No, no, I wanted you to grab that thingy. Why didn't you grab that thingy? Uh, I hope there was a checkpoint somewhere. Okay. No, no. He is here somewhere. Well, I think it's not that far to where we left off. Okay. So, are you not supposed to? Yes, now he grabbed the thingy. Not sure why he didn't do it the first time, but fair enough. He's behind us! And zip line. Reach the two! Oh no, stuff is collapsing again. No stopping, Ezio. We need to move on. Oh, um, well, guess I was supposed to jump forward, but um, this is working just as well, apparently. Show yourself! Hey, okay. still keeping up with the boat. Oh, again, I think um, didn't properly use this. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, can't you, can't you move sideways here? There we go. That was rather unfortunate. I need to make up some ground now. Show yourself! Right, zip line. We have gunpowder. We should use it. Stand back. Oh. Give me some room. What are you? Oh no! <laughs> uh, that is rather unfortunate as well. It also has really dramatic music. Ooh, reduce distance. Yes, I'm trying. He's behind us. Okay, I think I'm still still doing well. I still see you guys. Never underestimate this <laughs> madman. Right, never underestimate me. A body. Why are you destroying all of this? I mean, I can make it across anyway. Okay. Oh no! Ah, that was a zip line, but he didn't, didn't connect to it. Okay, let's try it again. Over the burning bridge again. He's behind us. Never underestimate this <laughs> madman. A body. 
Okay, um, now I have to be careful because this is the point where I misjumped. But there is a zip line, right? It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, there is a zip line. Almost impossible to see. Oh, assassinate them from above. There we go. Nice. Oh, I still have to fight them? Um, hang on a second. I'm not supposed to take any damage, so maybe I can help my cause here a little bit by disarming them. Oh no! I hate it when they do that. Oh, now he actually hit me. That's a pity. All right. I guess we didn't make this synchronization either. But we made it all the way to the end and now I can look for the hidden door, right? Um, let's see. Oh, it's probably over here. I'll take these treasures, though. Okay, now let's look at these hidden doors. And it's the one in the middle. <laughs> nice. And we found another key. Three or five. We're getting there. Okay, and we are back above ground. So now that I have a key, I guess I have to go back to our headquarters and I will get another uh, Altair memory, right? So let's see if we can find, as a matter of fact, I can see fast travel spot right over here. And there should be one inside the hideout. Uh, yes, so we can just continue and I mean, these Altair memories are usually fairly short, so I guess um, I have time to do that today. Here we go. And it's at the same spot again. Yes, the desk. Let's have a look. Alter ear at 63? That's a huge leap the in time. The Templar taken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my god. Maria, when we left Masyaf ten years ago, this order was strong. But all that progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. 
Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth, and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Oh dear. Perhaps. What happened? But if you cannot win back the Order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Well, a long time has passed and a lot of stuff has happened, apparently. Speak reasonably, and reasonable men will listen. Some will, but not Abbas. I should have expelled him 30 years ago when he tried to steal the apple. But you earn the respect of the other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know this? You were not there. I married a masterful storyteller. <laughs> Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded our attention and we rode to meet it. What man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? Does Darim know his brother is dead? I sent him a message four days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Abbas, I almost pity him. He wears his grudge like a cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to hear the truth. As I walk okay. these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place and robbed it of all joy. We may be walking to our doom, Maria. We may, but we walk together. Okay, um, this doesn't sound good. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself, not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair. Reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets, it has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. Oh dear. Um... El Tayer! El Tayer! No! Oh, <gasps> no. Why? Why is this happening? Strength. El Tayer. Maria. He is possessed! Kill him! <sighs> Take well, the apple! No! Escape Masyaf by any means. Okay, uh, I guess I'm just supposed to run? Not even sure if I have any weapons. Um, well, I might have. But they say I'm supposed to run, so I guess I'll just run. Um, I see a quest mark on my map. Oh, ooh. Oh, I think it's not, not here. It must be somewhere above me, probably. Uh, don't make me kill you guys. Oh, it's over here. Okay. He is pretty agile for a 60-year-old. <laughs> Seriously. Maybe the apple kept him... Uh, strong and young. I mean, even running like that is probably not possible for a man ah. of his age, but jumps ah. like this, <laughs> not, not a chance. Father, I got your message. What has happened? Darim, turn back! 
Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. Above you. Um, okay. Press E to count a designation with throwing knives. Alright. Um, well, that didn't work. Ah, there we go. Um, she's gone, Daddy. Supposed to kill I'm all sorry. these guys? What? Follow me. How? Ahead of us. Later. First, we fight. Um, okay. I guess I only use my knives. How Brother, many knives do I have? We need not fight. Forget reason, Daddy. They've so been poisoned many of them. by lies. Well, I, I may actually have unlimited knives. That's good. <laughs> okay, so I need to escape. We must leave at once. With my son, who looks a lot like Subject Hurry! 16, does he not? <laughs> um, hang on a second. Don't, don't run away Watch from out. me. Um, uh, no, no, no. I wish, I wish the game would stop locking onto targets without. Mm. My consent. <laughs> it's kind of disorienting. Okay. I killed this guy. No. Um, you we don't really know where you're going, do you? Um, I guess I'm just following you anyway. Okay. Leap of faith. I can do that. Was it Abbas who killed my brother? He killed your brother, Malik, and countless others. He is a madman. A madman with an army. He will die. One day he will pay. I'm just spamming my knives here. Because I have unlimited knives. <laughs> Hey, oh no, we have we have more of them. Yeah, beware of my unlimited uh, supply of knives. You don't stand a chance. We just don't know when to stop it. Stand your ground and defend your son. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Well, I guess I can use my other weapons. But, um, I guess this works. Oh, there's one on the roof. It is time to go! Okay, let's move on. Was it Abbas who killed my brother? I will have the apple, Altair, and I will have your head for all the dishonor you brought upon my family. What's your problem? You cannot run forever! Not from us! And not from your lies! I feel I'm missing a lot of information my here. Love. My love. He, he may have a codex entry though that I may not have read. Because it happened in a cutscene. So I will read this later. Okay, so um, that was an interesting memory, one way or the other. And it probably means that this is the end of a sequence now. Yes, it is. Nice. Excellent news, Claudia. I now have a name, Manuel Paleologos. Nephew of the deposed Byzantine Emperor Constantine. I have few doubts that he is the man leading the Templars. My task now is to interrogate a traitorous Janissary named Tarek Barletti and find the location of the Templars' army. Until then, Sophia and I will continue our search for the one key that remains hidden. With every passing moment, I know my chances grow slimmer. And yet I cannot help but linger some days to stay an extra hour with her. To hear her voice and watch her face animate with joy as <laughs> she speaks of the things that move her. Her books, her city, her memories. 
I cannot tell but to think what a shame it will be when I find the final key. Well, like I said, you should stay because you still need a few offspring, or at least one. Sequence 6, Fortune's Disfavor. Okay, we have new items and... Hang on a second. I see... I see a target on my radar. Is this... Is this fake Duccio again? Let's check it out before we do anything else. It is him. Yeah, um... I mean, he does look like Duccio, does he not? I think it is Duccio. So, why is he a target? I don't understand. I guess I can, like, just beat him up. I mean, I don't want to kill him, but... I, what happens if I just beat him unconscious? For no reason at all. <laughs> I get an achievement! Holy! <laughs> so I guess this wasn't really a bug and I was supposed to beat him? <laughs> I mean it makes sense because we beat up Duccio in all the other games so I guess they just wanted me to beat him up again but they could have told me in some form, right? <laughs> and not put him in the way of another mission because I totally thought he was the target of my um, other assassination. <laughs> But okay, I guess um, that uh, mystery is solved. We uh, were just to beat up Duccio again. Because it's a good tradition, apparently. But yeah, um, we have finished another Sophia slash Altair memory. Um, so the next mission is going to be back to the Janissary Palace Intrigue, I guess. And yeah, as you can see, I am progressing pr quite nicely with my renovations. I think I still have two um, landmarks that I need to buy and then I'm completely done with Constantinople rebuilding. But I think uh, we're going to make a cut for today because the episode is long enough. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.